How's it going crew? This is Happy Days and welcome back to our Wilco the Warrior Expert Melee playthrough. And last episode was a big one guys. We finally beat the Eater of Worlds in an epic battle with worms going everywhere. And we have upgraded a lot of our equipment and tools. But I think after the goblin battle where I almost got killed multiple times, I think the time has come to upgrade our armor too. So we're probably going to grab the shadow set very quickly at the start of this episode. I was also thinking too, deep in the jungle, there is a bee that has a mighty blade that would suit our character perfectly. And I think the time has come to grab that powerful sword. So we're probably going to battle the queen bee as well. And I am slightly worried because she is a beast in expert mode and it's probably one of the hardest bosses for me personally in pre-hard mode so yeah it's gonna be interesting a uh, quick announcement too thanks for everyone for the awesome comments about our seven days of games coming out uh, there's gonna be a lot of different games over the next week so it should be lots of fun I think my best advice to you guys is just check out the ones you want to uh, so chances are you're not gonna love every single game that we play um, but yeah check out the ones you like enjoy our Terraria content as usual it's gonna be a fun week all right, so we've got a lot to do this episode, guys. Let's get started. Alright guys, so you might have noticed while we were fighting the Eater of Worlds just then that the Slime Rain event started and I thought it's probably a good time to earn a bit of extra cash uh, to do some reforging because hopefully we can find uh, the Goblin Tinkerer sooner rather than later. Not like, oh, what was the playthrough where I just simply couldn't find him? Like, we were looking everywhere and there was no Goblin to be found. Uh, what am I talking about? Oh, well, it's King Slime time. Yeah, I'm going to need less uh, Demonite ore now, which is really cool. Um, we probably have enough already, so that's really nice. Alright, so here we go. Oh, the melee hitbox of the King Slime seems to be uh, closer to the middle, not the outside. Uh, which is pretty strange. I'm trying to, trying to hit it. There we go, I've just got to sort of stay really close to him. Oh man, oh man. Okay, just hug the slime. It's probably a bad idea. Oh man, I need to get back to my arena. Oh, okay, let's try some Star Fury. Actually, that's nice because it hurts the slimes as well. Ah, oh, that's pretty cool. Alright, there you go. Take that slime. <laughs> and those evil spike slimes. Man, they are tough. Oh, okay, here, here's our chance. Yes! But, oh no! Look at all the slimes! <laughs> oh man, how did I get out of that? Oh no, 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 no need for that, Mr. King Slime. Alright, let's get back to this. The, uh, the ball of hurt doesn't seem to do enough damage. So we're gonna, we're gonna skip that for now. Alright, one more jump and through. Beautiful. And I've put down a blue and a green slime banner, so that should, uh, help keep us safe, uh, from some of the attacks as well. Okay, here we go. He's getting low, he's getting low. And uh, we're going to need that royal, uh, the royal gel because when we're in the underworld, uh, yeah, because we're melee, we can't really avoid lava slime. So, yeah, <laughs> we'll have to stay nice and close. Whoop, okay, quick, 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 quick. I'm trying to get past it. No, no, don't die here. Not like this, not like this. All right, Cthulhu dash me there. Oh, man. Uh, okay, we got away. Beautiful. Oh, wow. It's so funny. Like... Was it just in the Tremor playthrough? I'm like, ooh, King Slime's a piece of cake. And now it's just like, oh my god, oh my god! <laughs> okay, there we go. We got it. Alright, there we go. Beautiful. Wow, we must be getting a good bit of cash. 40 gold, guys. Wow. That's a lot of reforging. I like that. Oh, man. Okay. Alright, let's just finish off these last few slimies and pick up all this loot. And we have a bit of treasure to open, actually. Alright, there we go. We'll just tank it. Oh man, wow. Okay, we're done, we're done. And the arena is a little bit neater now. So we have a Eater of Worlds bag and a King Slime bag, so that is awesome. <gasps> Let's put the bit of the sword back on before everyone gets crazy and tells me off. I'll be like, happy, happy, kicks the sword. 
Fix the sword. There we go. <laughs> Alright. So, should we start with King Slime Treasure? I think so. Ah, uh, there we go. Let's make some room. Beautiful. Alright. Three, two, one. Boom. Oh, man. Have I got a grappling hook? Yes, I do. But slime hook is better. So, that's nice. Solidify. Some ninja stuff. And royal gel. Always nice to have. There we go. Alright. And now for this treasure bag. Three, two, one. Boom. Uh, melee speed. Melee speed. Okay. Not better than what we've got. Alright, that's pretty cool. Uh, just quickly, I think I've got a strange plant to hand in as well. Uh, there we go. Let's see if we get some cool dye. Um, I know it's better to save it later game, but hey. Reflective copper. Hmm, that can look good. Unlike shields. No, not really. No, no. No, some of the dyes aren't very good. Alright, so I'll sort my inventory, guys. We might have enough to craft the shadow set even now. So, we'll jump ahead. Alright, inventory is sorted. And I added an extra box to keep our boss and special crafting stuff. And the time is... The time is... The time has come to start to make... Whoa, sapphires. Cool. Uh, let's make a ton of demonite bars. Whoa, we have plenty. So we should be able to make uh, the shadow set. And fortunately, an ancient shadow helmet dropped. Uh, which has a small chance from... I think it's pretty much any mob in the corruption, uh, so it's pretty much the eaters, but yeah. Um, so we got that, and we've got tons of scales left over. <laughs> oh, I don't really need any of them, so I think the stats are identical on the helmets, yeah, yeah. Cool. Uh, what we'll also make is a, a bucket, some buckets. Let's make, how much iron have I got? Ooh, let's make four. Um, and that way I can start to move some honey around, uh, which will be nice. So let's put our silver set in there. Actually, uh, oh no, no, no. Oh, some people asked me to wear the silver as vanity, and I kind of like that. Um, just for now, we'll put it on our uh, display mannequin there. But yeah, I think that would be cool later on in the adventure. So I'll wear different stuff for now, but uh, yeah, later on we might do that. So I was just making my way to the jungle, and we crossed the sand biome, and I remember we had a quick explore at the start of our adventure, but what uh, I would like to do is now have a really quick scoot through. Uh, now that we're a bit stronger, we can actually fight these things um, because there is possibly some life crystals we've missed and also some chance for loot, uh, like the extractinator we just picked up. Actually, shark statue is nice too um, because I every time I fight the queen bee, it's always a close fight, like especially when I do it on expert, uh, not so much on normal mode. Um, but she is devastatingly strong. Um, so I thought it would be nice if we can just have a quick look around. I think, yeah, we haven't really explored much of this area. So let's get some bombs on the job. Um, because even just like one life crystal might be the difference between life or death, people. So I think it's totally worth a little look around ever so quickly. Oh, yes. Here we go. So I'm pretty much just on the lookout for chests and um, treasure. So we don't, we don't really need any ore. Oh wow, a, corn po a coin portal. Awesome. Five gold. I think that's the minimum they can give. Uh, but we'll still take it. You know, gold is good. Oh yeah. Okay, here we go. Alright, there's a few swarmers, but we can actually take them now, so that should be fine. Yeah, you're not so strong anymore, are you? Mwahaha! Alright, we've got some rubies. <gasps> yes, life crystal. Beautiful. That's why we're here, people. Alright, let's take out this charger. Very nice. And bomb our way to more health. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Perfect amount of bombs, too. Whoa! No, you don't, worm. No, you don't. No, you don't. <laughs> oh. All right, I guess... Oh, there's a chest. Yes. Okay, we can do this. All right, let's break through. Put some torch down. Some torch down? Some torch down, yes. Okay. Ah, Wormy, what are you doing? What are you doing, Wormy? All right, there we go. Get some bombs. <gasps> yes! Another life crystal! Oh my gosh! Oh, I'm so glad we came in here. Oh, yes. And a piano. I wish you could play them. That'd be awesome. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, an enchanted boomerang! <laughs> oh, it's like, it's kind of nice. Like, we don't really need it anymore, but it's still nice to have. So, let's put the pig down quickly. Throw some loot in there. Beautiful. Pick the pig back up, and we are good to go. Alright, still got three minutes on the Spelunker, that's fine. Um, you might have noticed that I bought a bug net, uh, because I realised that eventually we're going to need to do some fishing, um, because there's some potions that 
Uh, I think we can only get through fishing um, at this stage of the game. Um, and for the Wall of Flesh, I'm pretty much going to need every single buff uh, that I can get my hands on. Because even with full Molten Armor, uh, fighting Wall of Flesh with melee is yeah a disaster waiting to happen. So I'm not saying it's impossible. I'm sure we can do it, but we're definitely going to need every little uh, trick and buff we can use. Alright, let's get over here. There's some more treasure. No. No, 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 no. What are you doing? Okay, what, what am I doing? Ah! Ah, I forgot how to open a treasure. I can't open the door. Oh, it was blocked. Ah! Oh, man. Okay, let's take out this little guy. And more treasure. Yay. Oh, Hermes boots. Um, I already have some, but I'm always happy to have more loot to sell. Okay, and some kegs. Oh, we should make ale. Oh, I can't believe I'm not using that. So you lose 4 defense, but I think you get 10% damage buff, which is nothing to sneeze at, guys. Like, it's pretty good. Alright, uh, bunny statue. That could be good for some cash later on. If I... <laughs> if I can uh, get up there, that would be nice too. Alright, let's get that. Let's kill this wormy. Uh, no, nah, couldn't do it. Alright, I think we're on the edge of the sand biome, so let's quickly scoot back this way and keep dropping down. Alright. Any more life crystals? Any more hearts for happy? No, I think that's it, guys. I think two is pretty good. That could save us. Oh, man. This looks like boulder country. This looks like boulders. Is that a boulder? Whoa! Nope! 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 It's a dart trap. <laughs> Yet, I stand on it anyway. <laughs> oh, I don't know. All right, you can go. All right, let's keep having a quick look down. I love spelunking. Let's have a little look. All right, some normal hearts. Uh, some iron, I don't really need that. Alright, let's keep... I've got 35 seconds on my Spelunker, so we may as well keep exploring. Ah, uh, there's a strange plant, yay. Okay, that's kind of cool. Hello, little strange plant. What you doing down there? Crazy plant. No way! Alright, it's time for minecarts. Uh-oh, spiders, spiders, spiders! No! No! Ah, leave me alone, crazy spiders. Oh, man. Well, wow. alright, let's bust through here. Alright, we're good, we're good. Alright, let's go on a minecart adventure. Whoa, what are we going to find? Yeah, take that slime. You're no match. Alright guys, look out. Look out for hearts if you see them. I always miss them. No, there's nothing here. Ah, I can't see. <laughs> Alright, we're going back through the spider biome. We're picking up speed. We're going to zoom through. Go, 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 go. Yeah, you're not getting me. Oh, I'm going too fast. Alright, it looks like this is it. Okay, so... I'm pretty happy with that, guys. Two extra life crystals will make all the difference. So let's make our way. Oh, it's an underground room. Yeah. All right, let's check this out quickly. And then we'll go back to the jungle to get ready for bees. All right. Oh, warding Hermes boots. Ho, ho. Two extra defense. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah. Okay, we like that. That's pretty good. And beautiful. All right, guys. I'll just uh, dump all this back at base. And then let's get to the jungle. Alright guys, here we are in a hive, and there I can actually see the queen bee lava. It's above the honey for a change, which is really, really nice. Um, but this is a very small hive, so it's insufficient uh, for fighting the queen bee as it is. So we're going to need to expand it uh, without upsetting this lava, <laughs> which is easier said than done. I think the easiest way is just going to be blast off this whole side wall. And, uh, yeah, I guess make the arena like that. I guess the only issue, potential issue, is that mobs are going to be... Oh, no, I'm sinking in honey. <laughs> uh, I guess the only issue is that mobs are going to be harassing me, like, the whole time. Um, but that's okay. We can take our time. Hopefully I don't break the uh, lava, which, you know, I'm hoping not to. So, guys, I'll do a little sped-up montage. I'm going to blast this side open. I've got some bombs, uh, which is all good. Don't break the lava, Happy. <laughs> oh no. So yeah, so I'll remove the wall, we'll get our arena started, and then it is Queen Bee time.
Well, we are ready to fight the Queen Bee, and amazingly, another goblin army looks like it's about to attack, which I can't believe. <laughs> but uh, we don't have time for goblins, uh, even though I think we'd fare a bit better against them now. Um, our arena is ready, we've got a little honey pool here, we've got lots of room to maneuver about, and we've got plenty of mobility items, so I think we'll be okay. So, let's, uh, oh, let's do this, oh my gosh, uh, yay, go goblins. Um, I also did some quick fishing to get some cooked fish, uh, so we have some buffs for the battle. Alright, and we are underway, people, oh yeah, okay, I scored the first hit of the fight, and it feels good. <laughs> Alright, come on B, where are you? Oh, you crazy B. Um, I've equipped my, uh, ball of hurt, but I think... I think the enchanted sword's a bit, bit, bit more nimble than the, uh, the uh, ball of hurt. So I think we'll stick with that. Um, now I, I want to see if I can actually close in and do. Oh yeah, check it out! Wow, she stopped in the perfect spot. Oh, that's so lucky. Oh man, I think that's going to be our time to attack when she's spawning bees. Not so much the stingers because they hurt and they make me sad. Um, but the bees, yes, definitely. Um, I'll try and make use... Oh, here we go. Yes. Oh, wow. You can do that. Ouch. But you also pretty much can't avoid her first charge attack. All right. That's a bit scary. Okay. So far, so good. All right. You're going to do bees? No, you're going to shoot your yucky poison stingers. Actually, do you know what? A beezor... I, I really should start using beezors for this fight um, if I can get them because the poison lasts... I think it lasts for like 20 seconds or... Something crazy like that. So, oh wow, she didn't stay uh, in B mode for long. She knows, she knows what I'm trying to do. She knows my secrets. Man, our buffs are almost out though. That's a bit scary. And it's it's probably the part of the fight where I need my buffs. So oh no, she spawned it. I didn't think she was gonna charge a, a fifth time. <gasps> she's doing bees, she's doing bees. Come on, come on, come on, come on. No, she stopped doing bees. She stopped doing bees. Oh, let's go, let's go. Arr, let's just tank a bit. Um, I keep forgetting that because we've got a really high armor score, we can actually go toe to toe with her a bit more. <gasps> yes, she's doing bees! Yes, 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 yes! Oh, come on, come on, come on! Alright, let's retreat. Oh, wow! She's like machine gunning those stingers, man. <laughs> oh, okay, B, settle down. Settle down. Settle down. There's no need for that. Oh, okay, she's doing it. She's doing it. She's going crazy. Oh, no, no, no! I don't want to die at this part of the fight. Thank you very much. Alright, come on, come on. She's so low. Oh, man. Oh, no, this is bad. Oh, okay. We can do this. We can do this. Grapple jump, grapple jump. Oh man, okay, she's doing bees. She's doing bees. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> ah, Yes! Take that, B. Take that. Yeah. Oh man. Oh, I think having this big arena helped a lot. And our nice armor score definitely helped. Oh, five seconds of buff to go. <sighs> and a night vision helmet. <laughs> It's a shame, like, it, you can't get the light effect with the vanity because, yeah, it kind of messes up your set bonuses and all that stuff. But oh well, we have treasure. Oh my gosh, guys, beekeeper, come on. I don't want to fight another queen bee. I mean, I'll do it if we have to, but, you know. All right, you ready? Three, two, one, bee. Oh, no, we didn't get it. <laughs> we didn't get it. <laughs> oh, okay, we got honeycomb. Which we could use to make panic necklace, which... Oh no, is that... Is that only Crimson Worlds? I don't know. Um, wow. Okay. Yep. Looks like we're gonna have to make an abomination, people. Oh, well. That's okay. Like with the Eater of Worlds I did at the start of this episode, we'll do it. Our virus sped up segment. Oh, wow. It's good to know we can beat her, though. That's, that's the really thing I am happy about. Oh. 
Alright guys, thanks as always for watching another episode of our Wilco the Warrior Expert Melee Playthrough. And man, it feels good to be powering up. And I can't believe, I think we got nearly every Queen Bee drop. Except for the Beekeeper, which I actually find kind of funny. <laughs> you gotta laugh when stuff like that happens. So, yeah, so we'll definitely uh, quickly beat our next episode and get the Beekeeper. And hopefully find the Goblin too, which would be awesome. Just a reminder that our 7 Days of Games special channel event will be starting in an hour or so, depending on when you watch this. Uh, so stay tuned for today's first game. And remember guys, there's going to be a different game every week, and you can win a copy of that game every day. So make sure you check it out. If you're enjoying the game, leave a like, and I'd really appreciate it. It's going to be lots of fun, guys. Alright, it's time for some shoutouts as always. And our first one is from Rhapsodian. And the we've seen a yarn voice. Let's grab a few of those cookies. Oh yeah, cookies always good. <laughs> I just run out. I need to go buy some more actually. Our next one is from Noah Hess. And the boss we've seen a Draco voice. Don't forget the legendary cookie sword, Happy. <laughs> yeah, that sounds good. <laughs> our next one is from Nom Nom Cheetos Gaming. And they've asked me to say in a Draco voice, Don't worry, big plant. Everything is okay. I'm just going to kill you. <laughs> yeah, I'd be a little bit worried if someone said that to me. <laughs> uh, our next one is from Loza Eza. And they've asked me to say in a slimy voice, Where's the cookie mod, Happy? <laughs> cookie mod will be here one day, people. One day, talented people will come together and create a mod with cookie bosses and cookie weapons and cookie everything. It'll be amazing. And our last one today is from T-Roba. And the boss we say, oh my gosh, it's on the top. <laughs> the boss we say in Sans voice, It's a nice day outside. Birds are singing. Flowers are blooming. In days like these, kids like you should be burning in hell. <laughs> oh man. Oh, gonna have a bad time indeed. Oh wow. <laughs> Sans is like the coolest character ever, can I just say. Alright guys, thanks so much for watching. As always, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like and show you show that you're enjoying it, I suppose. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> and for the comments, guys, keep giving your accessory and armor and weapon recommendations. I think accessory recommendations for Wall of Flesh is going to be very important. Uh, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to go with yet. Uh, maybe Feral Claws. Um, maybe, you know, I don't know. I really don't know. So, yeah, let me know. Um, it's going to be armored on everything, though. That, that part I do know. <laughs> if you haven't subscribed, guys, click the little HC icon in the bottom right corner. Especially if you want to take part in our giveaway. You need to be a current subscriber on our channel. Here's the most important part. As always, guys, you will stay happy, and I'll see you soon. This is Happy Day signing out. See ya! Alright. Now let's find out where this lava is. Mr. Lava! <gasps> oh goodness. Okay, we've got to heal off. Nice. Oh, he's about to go in his last form. Oh, what are we- No! 